Yeah, why not? <coughs> Hello, welcome to another episode of Comic Pal, where we take a look at comics and how they fit into society. And this is the um, companion um, YouTube show that goes along with my website on comicpow.com. I'm Eric Messa, and I'm your um, host. So today I wanted to talk about Bone out of Bonesville. This is a book that I got through the um, Humble Bundle um, censorship uh, bundle. And I wasn't really sure why this uh, comic was censored. Um, I just got it together with a bunch of books that I was interested in. But um, I did know that I had liked um, the author's other book, um, Rassel, which um, was uh, something I looked at early on uh, in on Comic Pal, although not in a video. And uh, so I wanted to check it out. And so I read through it, and I, after reading through the entire first volume, I, I was wondering what could possibly be so controversial here that this would be banned. So I had to go look up on the um, Comic Book Defense uh, Fund's website and see why it was this comic's been banned. There were a couple where they said it was age inappropriate. And um, it had been at an elementary school, and I could maybe kind of see the case for that. Um, I would say that this book is probably something like a middle grade book. So somewhere between a fifth grader through middle school would probably really enjoy it. Um, when you start getting into high school, um, it can still be enjoyed. It's definitely an all ages book. But it, it, I think that the subject matter seems more targeted towards a younger audience really enjoying it. Um, I would say if you're much younger in elementary school, there's going to be a lot of words and a few um, jokes that are going to go over your head, for example. Um, one of the main characters, uh, Phony Bone, um, he's this crooked uh, um, you know, entrepreneur type of guy, and uh, they make some jokes about some of the things that he's done, you know, um, building a nuclear reactor over an orphanage or something like that, and some of those things I could see going over younger kids' heads. While um, uh, with others, I could see it, you know, uh, as they get older, I could see them really grasping those jokes. And at one point I thought, well, there's a scene where, so our characters are these little kind of weird looking white cartoons, you know, almost uh, Looney Tune-ish in their, in, their, um, in their portrayal. And... Uh, at one point, they go to this valley and they see this human that looks like a regular human. The art on the human reminds me a lot of a uh, Don Booth cartoon. Um, so similar to like uh, Anastasia or Five Goes West or those type of cartoons. And um, off screen, he sees her um, get naked to take a bath in a river because it's kind of like a medieval type town. And I thought, okay, maybe you can make a case for that. You know, if you're going to really make a big deal out of something that happens off screen where if the kid's not old enough to understand what's going on, they're not going to understand enough to be, you know, to get uh, offended. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't, I never understand. It's like uh, Roger Rabbit, right? There's a lot of jokes for adults. It was okay for kids to watch it because um, if the joke goes over their head, they're not going to understand that it was a dirty joke, you know? Um, but it turns out that... Um, the, one of the biggest um, examples they have in there is a Texas school that banned it for um, being socially unacceptable. And I'm not quite sure why. Uh, oh, and there was another Texas school that, that uh, it might have been a different state, but they banned it because of um, one of the characters, again, probably Phony Bone, um, is drinking and smoking drinking alcohol and smoking and her kid had just completed dare how could they have drinking and smoking and i don't know as someone who grew up watching the old looney tune shorts i just don't see what the big deal is in being um, seeing characters smoking and seeing characters drinking um you know there are people that smoke and drink out in the world and and maybe even some of the relatives of these children i don't understand why that would cause it to be um people to feel like it has to be banned you know it's it's so odd um, overall, um, oh, and there was one more where they said it was too scary for children. And again, I would say that I see this as a middle grade book, not like a first and second grader book. So there are some bad guys that I would say are pretty scary. 
but not, you know, like, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't read this comic to my four year old, um, but I, I can't see it as something that a 10, 11, 12 year old, um, you know, if they're getting scared of that, they have some other um, potential um, issues, you know. So, um, you know, the, in, as far as uh, where it fits in, it, it just seems like a pretty typical, um, a pretty typical parable, you know, uh, uh, children's, a uh, children's version of the hero's journey, right? So it starts off with our three characters being run out of town because of the greedy character. Um, they, they get separated and they end up in this valley. And then um, our main character basically has to kind of level himself up, you know, and become able to deal with being in the woods and um, getting away from the bad guys, the scary bad guys from before. Um, and <clears throat> by the time the first volume ends, um, they're heading to the um, to a city within that valley in order to attend a cow race. So, um, and but the, the they're still being pursued by the you know scary enemy. So you know it just seems like a typical hero's journey. Um, uh, apply to a to a kids a kid friendly format, but not you know this is one of the type of books that I really really respect. It 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 doesn't treat kids as kids. It treats them as able to um, able to push themselves to understand things. You know it doesn't doesn't talk down to them. It it, it talks at a certain level and ask the child to meet them at that level. Uh, and, and those tend to be usually the best kids' books. Um, and the ones that I enjoy reading as a parent, you know, the, the ones where they're explicitly made for children tend to be droll and boring and, and not very much fun at all. So, uh, yeah, I, I think that it's, uh, the people that, that find it worth banning, I don't know, probably just have themselves wound a little too tight. Uh, and uh, it does make a pretty good all ages book. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, I think an adult would enjoy it, but I think that a great sweet spot would be, like I said before, somewhere around, you know, late elementary school through middle school. I think they would really appreciate the book. And it, it would be a good uh, entry into comics for someone that um, was put off by or didn't relate to superhero comics. So I would definitely recommend it. Uh, if you wanted to um, introduce your your um, child or or um, you know nephew or so on and so forth to comics. Well, um, that's everything I have to say about Bone. I'll see you next time.